Why won't they? They asked George. Because one giant cow will give fifty buckets of milk a day, cried Mr. Cranky, waving his arms. One giant chicken will make a hundred fried chicken dinners. And one giant pig will give you a thousand pork chops. It's tremendous, my dear boy. It's fantastic. It'll change the world. But wait a minute, Dad. George and George said again. Don't keep saying. Wait a minute! Shouted Mr. Cranky. There isn't a minute to wait. We must get cracking at once. Do clamp down, my dear Mrs. Cranky. Said from the other end of the table, and stop putting marmalade on your cornflake. Cried Mr. Crank, cranky, leaping up from his chair. Come on, George, let's get going. And the first thing we'll do is to make one one more stew, pot full of as a taster, taster. But Dad said, little George, the Trouble is, there won't be any trouble, my boy," cried Mr. Cranky. "How's, how can there possibly be any trouble? All you've got to do is put the same stuff into the pot as you've got to do is." As you did have yesterday, and while you're doing it, it will. I will write down each and every item. That's how we'll get the magic recipe. But Dad, George said, "Please listen to me." Why don't you listen to me, Mrs. Cranky said? The boy is trying to tell you something. But Mr. Cranky was too excited to listen to anyone except himself. And then he cried, "When the new mixture is ready, we'll test it out on an old." And just to make sure we've got it right, and after that, we'll all shout hooray and build a giant factory. But Dad, come on then. What is it you want to say? I can't possibly remember all those hundreds of things I put into the pot to make the medicine. George said, "Of course you can, my dear boy," cried Mr. Cranky. "I will help you. I'll jog your memory. You'll get it in the end. You see, if you don't, now then, what was the very first thing you put in? I went." Up to the bathroom first, George said. I used a lot of things in the bathroom and one mommy's dressing table, on mommy's dressing table. Come on then! cried Mr. Cranky. Up we go to the bathroom. When they got there, they found, of course, a. Whole lots of empty tops and empty air soles, cans, and empty bottles. That's great," said Mr. Cranky. "That tells 
us exactly what you used. If anything is empty, it means you used. So Mr. Cranky started making a list of everything that was empty in the bathroom. Then the, they went to Mrs. Cranky's dressing table. A box of powder, powder said Mr. Cranky, writing it down. Helgol's hair set, flowers of turnips, perfume, terrific. This is going to be easy. Where did you go to next? To the laundry room, George said. But are you sure you haven't missed every anything up here, Dad? That's up to you, my boy, Mr. Cranky said. Have I? I don't think so, George said. So down they went to the laundry room and once again, Mr. Cranky wrote down the names of the em of all the empty bottles and cans. My goodness me. What a mess of stuff you 